Hey, this is Brian with ActiveMelody.com. Well, this week we have a really cool fingerstyle blues. It's kind of a country thing. It's got a little bit of a ragtime. There's a lot of different styles in this. I wasn't really sure what to call it, but I settled on uh, fingerstyle country blues, and uh, we're going to be putting our picks away. So we're going to be using just our fingers with the right hand. This is a great exercise in fingerstyle playing because it's not like the overly complicated stuff that you might hear Ch uh, Chet Atkins do. This is more of a more of a Delta Blues style. And if you're not a fingerstyle player, you should really try it and you should add it to your arsenal because there's so many situations, especially if you're playing solo guitar, where you need to be able to play fingerstyle. It just opens up a whole new world for what the possibilities are when you're playing guitar. And I know that it's a frustrating thing because it just feels awkward if you're not used to it. Um, but anyway, Give this a try. I think you, you'll be able to do this. We're going to break it down into real small little bite-sized chunks so you can you can follow along. So I've got this lesson split into two videos. In this video, we're going to go through the first part. If you'd like to watch the second part, as well as download the tablature and also access the on-screen tab viewer, which is interactive, a really cool way to learn, you can get those things by going to activemelody.com. Go to the weekly lessons page and do a search for EP428. Okay, so this song is in the key of E, and I'm using my old uh, 1947 Martin 017. People always ask about this. It's seen better days, definitely. You can see that there's a lot of uh, a lot of scratches on it, but man, this thing just sounds amazing. Solid mahogany, I just love love the sound, the tone you get. It's got a real bluesy, mid-rangey, boxy sound. So anyway, uh, that's what this guitar is. P playing this in the key of E, and the song structure is one, five, one. So we're going from the one chord, which is our E, to the five chord, which is a B7, and then back to the one. And the thing to pay attention to, uh, at least as we're playing over the E chord, it changes actually when we go to the B chord, but let's not worry about that yet. The thumb, which is your bass player when you're playing fingerstyle, the thumb is going one and two and three and four and just like a heartbeat. It sounds like a heartbeat. So watch my thumb. I'm just going to play through a little of this and just pay attention to what my thumb is doing. See, it never stops. The whole time there's a melody that's happening on top of it, but the thumb is keeping that groove. And when you're playing fingerstyle, there's different cadences. Like I could have just played on the beat like You know, just one, two, three, four. But I like the one and two and three because it just fills the space a little more. And to me, it sounds like an old ragtime piano or something. Okay, let's look at that first opening lick. It comes in like this. So we're gonna start with our thumb on the sixth string, open E string, quick slide from the second fret to the fourth fret on the sixth string. And then a hammer on from the second fret to the fourth fret on the fifth string. And then we're going to come up here and hit the uh, second fret fourth string, but while I play that, and I'm using my middle finger to pluck that, I'm going to play with my thumb and start the bass groove right there. So that's, think of that as the one. So this is like your pickup note, and then we come to the one. That's where the song starts. Pickup note is just the notes that happen before the song starts. So if we were counting this in, you would actually start that first note on the and of three. So you count it like this. One and two and three and. Okay, and then you can see that that's the one. So the general rule that I'm using here is when I'm playing on the fourth string, I'm using my middle finger. And when I'm playing the notes on the fifth string, uh, I'm using my index finger and all the notes on the sixth string are being played with my thumb. And actually when I say all the notes in the sixth string is just the open E like that. So that's that makes it easy. One open string that we're just going to drone. Uh, and uh, the, your thumb is always your bass player when you're playing uh, finger style. That's just the, the rule. The rule of thumb is that your thumb is your bass player. And so the trick is being able to do this while you're playing the melody on top of that. It's very much like patting your head and rubbing your stomach, you know, it's one of those things you, you gotta really kind of work on a little, you know, at the, at, in the beginning. But then once you do it a few times, it becomes simple. It becomes just something you can just pick up and do without thinking about. So, 
we have this so far. And the other little side note, uh, for those of you that are improvisers, this little box, if you're wondering where these notes came from, between the second fret and the fourth fret on the sixth string, fifth string, and fourth string, that would be part of your E major pentatonic scale. But here's what you need to do. Connect that to your E chord shape. This may be all some of you get out of this lesson. This is a big takeaway though. If I look at my E chord shape and I look at where my, those two fingers are, they're in the second fret there, I just know that I've got this little box that happens here. It starts on that second fret. So if I'm strumming any song in an E, whether I'm playing fingerstyle or with a pick, I've got all these little fills and things I can do using that, that area. Okay. Now from here, watch this. We're gonna keep that barred there. So our index finger is gonna stay barred on the second fret. And then we're gonna come down to the fifth string with my pinky fifth fret and watch this. Now look at what's happening there. So it's five, four, two, four. But while I'm playing that, I've got my thumb also copying that. The, the, those two are in sync together. There's your first open thumb uh, note. I should have mentioned that. Right after that, you play your first open note and then you go. And then watch this. There's two more open uh, E strings after that. So all together. Okay, and then watch this. Now this is happening while the thumb is happening. So all I'm doing is I'm playing an E chord, right? But I'm hammering on with my index finger to that uh, first fret third string. That's your third interval in the chord. That's a must know when you're playing blues. Just hammer on. If you're gonna make an E chord and you're playing blues, just hammer that index finger on. It sounds so cool. And that goes for any time you're using this E shape, even if you're playing it, you know, with a bar. You get a really nice bluesy thing. Okay, so we're playing strings two and three now with my middle finger and my ring finger, but my thumb is still on the sixth string, so it's like this. So then there's another thumb. And then we're gonna come up and we're gonna play an A chord here. So we're gonna go from the E to the A and back to the E. It's just a little gospel thing. So you have E, A, so the one to the four chord, and then back to the E. But, um, so when I go to the A, again, we're just playing strings two and three, or one, or yeah, no, two and three, sorry. We're playing strings two and three. So you have, and then that time, open strings two and three, do the hammer on, but as I do the hammer on, I also thump with my thumb on the sixth string. Like that, so just practice. Look at this, little loop. Let's add one more note to that. So I came up here with my ring finger and hit the open one string, which is also an E. So when you put all that together, you have a really nice little loopable phrase and, and just practice this. Don't move on, just get these, get this song piece by piece. Once you start to get it, it's gonna feel really uncomfortable for a little while, but when you start to get it, you go, oh, I got it. And it just, it's, it feels right. It feels like something you can just do. Um, okay, so anyway, that's what's going on. So from the beginning we have, Okay, now watch this. Get, throw in a little bluesy lick. Still playing strings two and three, but now we're gonna come up here, index fingers on the third fret, middle fingers on the fourth fret. We're gonna slide into that, back to our A, and then back to our E. And this is something you hear in just about any old Delta blues. So much you can get, mileage you can get out of that. And where we're going with this, if we're thinking pen pentatonic patterns, this would be strings uh, two and three out of pattern two of the minor pentatonic, sorry, minor pentatonic for E. It'd also be out of your E7 chord, if you want to think of it that way, E7 chord using the D7 shape. But anyway, that's what's going on there. But you gotta keep the groove going. Now, 
after that, I did a muted strum, just using the back of my fingernails to kind of rake across the string, not quite that loud. Uh, just a percussive thing. So the five chord then, goes like that. Now notice I dropped the heartbeat. I wasn't going, I could have done that, but it just didn't fit somehow. And so I just sort of, I didn't even realize that until I started breaking this down to try and explain what I was doing. So I, in that case, I just went back to playing on the beat with the bass part. And it totally fit, like it, it was fine. It's okay to do that, to alternate this. In fact, I continued to alternate this so much that I just dropped the bass point, or the bass part at this point. So watch this. No bass, notice my thumb is doing nothing. Still nothing. And then we go back to the E. Let's learn all, the, all of that B. So uh, we stay on the B chord. So I came up into this uh, B7 up here. So it's a quick slide from the fourth fret to the sixth fret on the fifth string. And then I'm gonna bar the first four strings on the fourth fret, but I'm only gonna play strings three and four, those middle strings with my index finger and middle finger. While I've got the bar down, my middle finger goes down on the sixth fret and then up to the seventh fret. But I, I'm still including that fourth fret third string. So that's what it sounds like there. Love the sound of that. Now watch this. There is the heartbeat tempo again. So it's just one and two and three and four. And you can see my ring finger, the bar stays there on the fourth fret, but we go seven, six, four, six. And this is all just playing around this A chord shape. So we're playing off of the B chord. And here's another takeaway. When you're playing this B chord and you're up on this side of the chord, so you've still got the same triad there. You're just playing it up here where you got a different bass note. You've got this thing that happens here where you're playing strings three and four where you can go into the seven chord, the seven version of that. And that's what I'm doing. And then I'm gonna go. So I'm keeping the bar there, fourth fret, but I'm gonna do now play strings two and three with a quick um, hammer on from the fourth fret to the sixth fret on the third string. And then we're gonna go back down another hammer on, this time on the using the fourth string. And then there's the fourth fret, uh, just strings three and f uh, four. And then we go back with my ring finger to the sixth fret fourth string. There's a lot going on there, but it's actually fairly simple to play. with the right hand was happening with my middle finger and my index finger. Now after that, I'm so play that, slap the strings a little bit or some kind of a percussive stop really. And a quick slide from the sixth fret down to the fourth fret on the fifth string. And then we go down to the second fret. And then watch this. So there's a, a half bend there on the fourth fret. So after that bend, open fifth, and then we come down to the uh, second fret on the sixth string, another half bend, we did two of them, and then the open sixth string. So I know it's a lot there, but it's just this little kind of country uh, twangy thing that I thought, just thought kind of fit. And that sets us back up to play in the E. And what I did there, I just kind of did another percussive thing where I just kind of hit the strings, just a, anything, hit the guitar, just do something to keep the, the tempo going. And then I grabbed the, uh, now I'm making the E chord with my left hand, but I grabbed the, the fourth string. And then went right back into the uh, intro.
Everything is exactly the same there. And then... We're going to come up to the A. So this is where we go to the four chord. So let's back it up from the beginning and play up to that point. So we went back into that bluesy thing where I'm playing on strings uh, two and three, third fret, fourth fret, right? So walked it up and then came up here. So this just stayed the same in terms of structure. It just moved up to, to here because now we're going to the four chord. So your four chord, think of your A shape here, or think of your A chord using the E shape. But if I look at strings two and three, it's these two notes, right? That's where I'm going. So you can see, oh, okay, that would be like an E7. And if I walk that up, now I'm playing an A. Oh, okay, cool, right? So when that goes into the A, then my thumb keeps the same time, but it jumps up a string. So now it's gonna play the fifth string. So you can hear it. What, listen to the, the thumb right here. Here's the E. Hear how it switched to the A? So as I'm playing the A, my pinky, you could use your ring finger if you want, goes down on the seventh fret, second string, and then back. Okay, I'm gonna end this part one video right there. We've covered a lot of material already. And we'll go through the second half in the next video. So if you're not a premium member yet, come check it out. I'm always saying that, you know, trying to uh, plug it because it's a really, really good value. I've just completed the Essential Theory course. You have access to that. You have access to 10 years worth of in-depth lessons like this. Finger style, we've got country blues, we've got, you know, a little bit of everything. And it's all really designed to give you ideas for improvising and writing and creating your own music. That's what these lessons are for. All right, let me back up and play through this one more time, and then we'll see you in part two. Okay, here we go. One, two, three.